G'day YouTube, Quacker John here and today I'm doing a review on my 2020 Kawasaki Vulcan SE. I've had my 2020 Kawasaki Vulcan SE for four months now and I've done over 2,000 kilometers which is about 1,200 miles so I've got a pretty good idea of the bike's performance and capabilities. So first we'll look at the specifications of the bike. The Vulcan S has a high tensile steel, double pipe, diamond frame. Its length is 91 inches or 231 centimetres. Its width is 34 inches or 88 centimetres. Its height is 43 inches or 200 centimetres. It has a wheelbase of 62 inches or 157 centimetres and a wet weight of 223 kilogram or 490 pounds. It has a 649cc liquid-cooled four-stroke parallel twin cylinder overhead cam, four valves per cylinder motor. It has a maximum torque of 63 newton meters or 46.5 pounds per foot at 6,000 revs, and it has maximum power at 61 horsepower at 7,500 revs. It has a six-speed transmission with a positive neutral finder. And this, uh, the positive neutral finder means that when you're, the bike is stationary, it, must, uh, it can only be in first gear or neutral. Uh, it cannot move to the higher gears, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth, uh, which means that it's very easy to find neutral when, for example, you're at a set of lights. It is chain driven and has a fuel capacity of 14 litres or 3.7 US gallons. The front suspension is 41 millimetre hydraulic telescopic forks and the front brake is a single 300 millimetre disc with twin, twin piston caliper and ABS. The rear suspension is laid down offset with linkage and an adjustable preload. The rear brake is a single 250mm disc with single piston caliper and ABS. Now the Kawasaki Vulcan has, has something unique called the Ergo Fit. And what it means is the handlebars can be adjusted, the seat can be adjusted and the foot pegs can be adjusted so that it, the bike can cater for any height uh, person. So any person from 5 foot 2 through to 6 foot plus uh, will easily uh, fit on this bike. <laughs> As you can see the foot pegs uh, have three different positions to move either closer to you or further away from you or the standard, standard setting. The seat has two positions and there are two sets of handlebars. And so this is something that Kawasaki has put together only on the Vulcan S uh, called the Ergo Fit and it is really excellent. It means a short person and a tall person can equally feel comfortable on the bike. Okay, turning to the controls and the instrument cluster. On the left handlebar 
is a high beam switch, low and high beam. There is a hazard switch and you can see both indicators flashing. There is a passing light switch, the indicators and the horn. On the right hand handlebar is the kill switch. and the ignition button. On the instrument cluster we have the tachometer, the speedometer, the clock, the odometer, the gear indicator and the fuel gauge. There are the left and right hand indicator lights, the neutral light and the high beam light. There are two buttons. When you press the left hand button on the instrument cluster, it scrolls through the odometer, two trip meters, kilometers per liter, average kilometers per liter and range. right hand button scrolls through the settings for the bike, for the instruments and this includes setting the clock and whether you want kilometres or miles displayed. And that is the instrument cluster of the Vulcan S. Okay, let's take it for a ride. Okay. Well, you can see how low to the ground the bike is by looking at how bent my knees are. Uh, it's very easy to reach the ground on this bike and it's good for both guys and girls. Now the first thing you notice about the bike is that it's light. It's only 498 pounds and it's a very light bike to ride, easy to handle, easy to manoeuvre. Yes, uh, the, because the bike is so light and it's so easy to manoeuvre, it's, uh, it's very nimble in the corners. And it's very easy to flick from side to side. It's an easy bike to ride. The other thing I love about the Vulcan S is are the forward foot controls. Now some people don't like them, but I love them. You're riding the bike in the cruiser position, forward foot controls, you're very relaxed, you're very comfortable. So the bike has a lot to offer. Later in the video I'll be going on the motorway and uh, we'll see what the power of the bike. It's a 649cc engine. It's a mid-range cruiser.
and it's got it's got a lot of power. It does. Uh, it has a top speed of 190 kilometers an hour, and it does zero to 60 miles per hour. That's zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.2 seconds. It's a powerful bike, a fast bike. And you can see how easily I went through those corners. And you can just flick the bike over so easily. Because it's light and it's nimble. And it's fun to ride. It red lines at nine and a half thousand on the taco. I'm in fourth gear at 5,000 revs and it's doing 84 kilometers an hour. Okay, now I head off to the motorway. Okay, we're going on the motorway now. The speed limit is 100 kilometers per hour, which is 60 miles an hour. about today uh, I can feel it hitting my body uh, there's not much protection on the cruiser bike but it isn't uh, unwieldy it's not uh, difficult to ride it's, it's uh, just a bit of wind tugging at my clothes really now they can some people question whether the, the uh, Vulcan S has passing power at motorway speeds and uh, I can quite clearly say it's got plenty of passing power. I'm doing 100 k's an hour which is 60 miles an hour at just under 5,000 revs and the red line's on 9,500 revs so there's plenty of power there. Really just cruising above idling. So the Vulcan S is a great bike. It is great for beginners, it is great, great for girls, it's great for guys, it's great for people of all height. light, it's a light bike, it's a manoeuvre, it loves cornering, it's got plenty of power and uh, it costs uh, $11,100 here in Australia, Australian dollars. So it's a great bike to add to your garage. Particularly if you're a beginner, haven't been a bike before perhaps, and are looking for your first bike, uh, this is ideal for beginners. Thanks for watching my video. 
If you enjoy my video, subscribe to the channel. Live stream is on this Wednesday and every Wednesday from 10 p.m. Brisbane, Australia time. You're most welcome to join in. Quacker John is on Facebook. Become a friend of Quacker John on Facebook. See ya.